Alrighty, welcome back everybody, Kafka Time here. Just got finished watching part one of Zero Hour, Star Wars Rebels Season 3 finale. Let's get back into it. Part two, here we go. Thrawn is preparing for a planetary bombardment. How's the shield coming, Zeb? We're about to fire it up now. Yeah, so if it overloads, I'm not sure we can fix it. Hmm. Let's hope you don't have to. Fire it up. Copy that. That thing looks like it's ready to explode, man. Starting up the shield! It's working. The shield is stabilized. Nice work, boys. Alright, Thrawn. You're in the Playing some 4D chess with the blue man. Commence the attack. Intensify forward fire power. We have incoming fire. I'm gonna to have to look this up in case I'm incorrect, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we have seen base delta zero. That is uh, orbits of planetary bombardment for Imperial Star Destroyers in the new camp. Pretty awesome. Base Delta Zero, man. Big fan. That shield's not gonna hold, man. That is some extremely accurate fire, considering uh, the distance. Man, uh, the animation has really gotten good. This looks great. Seize fire. I like that they've added a lot of low-end frequency instruments to Thrones theme to really give it some weight, some gravitas. It helped. I did not think that shield was going to hold, man. Kanan? Kanan, do you copy? Mother, there must be something we can do. Please, we risked everything to get here. At least hear me out. Ursa has a very uh, Coruscant accent, but Sabine mm -hmm. sounds very Corellian. I'm the of the fleet while I beat the ground assault. <laughs> The plight of your friends amuses you. I've been in your position before, only to have these rebels pull a victory from certain defeat. You and I are not the same, Callus, as these rebels are about to learn. It's true. They both have very good points. Callus is right, you can't underestimate these rebels. But, uh, Thrawn is a step above, so... I don't think we'll have to. Thrawn is trying to soften us up. He'll send him ground forces to do the dirty work. I wish we could offer it, but we just don't have the resources. We can barely take nice. care of our own. I see that Sabine has decked out Tristan's shoulder plate. Put some art on there, that's cool. A subtle way of showing that she's being embraced by the family. You're not going alone. I'm going with you. I appreciate the loyalty you have for your friend, Sabine, but this mission is impossible. Bridger and his friends restored my daughter. Fenrir's pauldrons look very like World of Warcraft for we some reason. Leave ourselves I'm not quite sure why. But you may take a few ships and any warriors who are willing. Thank you, Mother. You won't have much of an army to take down that blockade. Chopper, bring up the interdictor. Maybe we don't need an army. ADPT is a cop. Nice. Got some IEDs. Oh, that one made it through the shield, though. Left one for you. Nice. That's a cool visual. We need to be too they are still coming through. through. Let's hope we get a chance to tell them. Yeah, I don't think small arms fire is going to do the trick, guys. Uh, 
I might. Ooh. Glad you could join us. Harris said you're bringing help. Maybe, maybe not. Governor, we have ships approaching. Rebel reinforcements. Mandalorian, by the look of them. Sabine Wren. Send fighters to intercept and move our capital ships to reinforce them. Bad idea. Throw up told you to hold position, lady. What happened with your friend? Oh, don't worry. I think he's coming. Yeah, but I don't think the Bendu is your friend anymore. We're taking out the interdict. Okay, this might be our only chance. Let's move. Looks like the family's together. Let's try and keep it that way. Oh, come on, AP5. Shit. I told you my friend was coming. I am the good pirate Roberts. There will be no survivors. That's what it makes me think of straight away. I am the knight. I am the god. Shit, man. You heard him. Make for the ship. Yeah, I'd get the hell out of Dodge at this point. If I were you. AP5. All they can do is walk briskly. <laughs> God, get out. Get out. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that he's attacking the rebel ships too. Not glad, but it shows that he really is the one in the middle. He's not just gonna support the protagonists just because they're the center of the show, you know? He truly is nonpartisan. So he took down a few of their ships too, so, you know, serious business. Well, that worked though. I mean, he's he's a storm. Whoa! Grand Admiral Thrawn just shot a force being out of the sky. That just happened. That was nuts. The uh, little dome helmet that's very Ralph McQuarrie inspired. I like that a lot. That's so cool that they have Mandalorian dropships for, for space combat, you know, because they all have sealed suits they can jetpack around in space like they just did. But that is a nice explosion. I don't want to hear it. That's one thing the show has always done well, is um, the explosions look better and better in every episode. Throw this traitor out the airlock. Yeah, it's going to take a little more than that to take out the palace. Nice. Escape pods? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he is going to survive. Never say never. That pod could get shot out of the sky any second now. Is this about to be another Rickon Stark situation? Will they get this close? Yes! Oh, I'm so relieved. Alright, I'll get the hell out of there. You cannot see. But 
I can. What? What do you see? I see your defeat, like many arms surrounding you in a cold embrace. What does that mean? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. It appears that he that Thrawn just killed the Bendu by shooting him, but uh, he disappeared and they left. I don't think we're seeing the last of him. I want to return the favor, Hera. My mother needs our help. Go, but I can't come with you. I have to get our survivors to Rebel Command. Kanan, thank you for taking me in. Thank you for risking everything. He's in. He's part of the crew. Just a second hyperspace jump before heading to Yavin. If we want to cover our tracks, we should make it three. Heading to Yavin. Those are Sato's men. You and Sabine really saved the day. But Kanan, we lost everything. I understand you feel defeated. But I've learned to see things differently. There's a future for us, one where we're all free. But it's up to us to make it happen. Wow, okay, so that was a hell of a finale. There was a lot that happened in that episode. Um, so let's start from the top. Uh, Commander Sato made the ultimate sacrifice. Took out the Interdictor Cruiser by just ramming it head on. Badass moment. Um, Callus joined the crew. Fucking survived the episode. Did not see that coming at all. I thought for sure he was a goner. I may be out 10 bucks. Um, I'm excited to see what happens with him next season. See if he gets a whole new outfit. See what goes on. Uh, Sabine came through with the Mandalorians. It sounds like the Ghost Crew is going to be heading back to Mandalore to return the favor next season. So uh, it's probably it's probably one of the only future plot lines that was really hinted at in this finale. I remember the season two finale and even the season one finale really set the stage for what would be happening. But this is kind of a wild card. I don't really know what to expect. But you know, season four, we got the Mandos. They're going to be back. Uh, Thrawn defeating the Bendu was unexpected. Um, I know it's arguable whether or not the Bendu was even defeated. I mean, uh, he disappeared into the Force laughing, so clearly he's not dead, but uh, I'd say Thrawn achieved about a 97% victory. Decimated two of the largest Rebel cells, shut down the Rebel base on Adalon, definitely set the Rebels back quite a bit. So, And I also love that he used the, uh, the artwork of the ancient beings that lived in that sector to find the, the planet that Kallus had deleted from the Archive. That was very faithful and true to his character incorporating artwork, so I'm really glad they did that. Admiral Constantine, uh, he died as he lived, incompetent and predictable. Governor Price made a mess of things too, but at least she lived through the episode. Um, Callus and Constantine are both gone from the Imperial ranks, so I'm going to be interested to see if they introduce a new villain for Season 4. Or if they just double down with Price, Thrawn, and Tarkin. I'm not, not really sure what their plan is going to be. Um, overall, it was a great episode. Really enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. As always, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment if you got something to say. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. Yeah, we'll see you with you.